Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Disco Kitty the Crappy Crafter. Today we're going to be playing with this giant dragon mold from Resin Rockers on Instagram. So look at all that detail. I am super excited. Let's just get right into it. Okay, this is going to be one of the shortest videos I've made on this channel, so let's just get right into it. I'm going to dust the mold with, I think I used four different pigment powders. They're supposed to be a shifting powder. They don't shift very well. I got them on Amazon. They were really cheap. I mean, they're really pretty colors, but they just don't... They just don't shift real good, and that's okay. They were cheap. I, I understand that. So I'm going to put a golden color on all the talons and all the spikes and the ridges and the horns, and then we'll go in with some blues and purples and greens for the body and eyes and stuff like that. And I'm going to be super happy with this, how this comes out. I'm just using some cotton swabs and some cotton rounds to clean up the powder where I don't want it. Some gets in places where I don't want it, but unless you look real, real close, you're not going to really tell where it is. I had a lot of fun making this. I just... I love the idea of dusting the molds in order to, to make the pigment really, really pop. Some pigments work better for that than others, of course. And you always want to use black resin as a background, which is what we're making here. Now, I did text them via Instagram and asked them how much resin I should use, but I was impatient. I didn't want to wait. So I didn't make enough, and I'm going to have to do two pours. Here is the first pour. Hmm, just not enough. And here is the end of the second pour. I think I used 220 milliliters of resin, all total. And here we are. It's all nice and solid. I'm going to have a lot of stuff to trim, and it was actually pretty simple. I trimmed it while it was still relatively soft. Some of it was domed, while places right next to it were not, and it, I don't think the supports were quite good enough. It could have been the tray, it could have been the table. It was left on a counter that had been leveled, but it was just weirdly unlevel. Like, spots that shouldn't have been too low or too, too little or, or too high. I, I just, I'm not really sure why it did what it did, but I'm really, really happy with the effect. And here we go. Here's the reveal. Oh, look at that. It is gorgeous. I love it so much. So much. Love it. Well, that came out amazing. Look at this thing. How cool is that? I'm so excited by this. I'm going to have to make a whole bunch of these for all of my gamer friends. This is so cool. So cool. Ah, I love it. I'm going to make a bunch of them. Now, I, I wasn't entirely happy with this. This, this. this particular foot needs to have a bit of a, a, a support. And... It, I mean, it could have been the tray I have it in. Yeah, I guess the tray isn't as flat as I thought it was, but uh, it, it was like, it was more full here, and it was funny, it was more full here than it was right here and then right next to each other. I don't know, this foot was a lot more full than any of the other three feet, but overall, 
it was a really good experience. And just look at this thing. Look at it. Look how cool that is. I am so happy with this. I'm gonna make one for myself. I'm gonna make one for a coworker who used to play d and I don't know if he still does. I do have to trim off a bunch of areas like in here. I don't know if I'm gonna try to trim in here or not. I'm not sure yet, but uh, so satisfying. That was a really satisfying demolding, wasn't it? It really was. So yeah, I love it and I have to make more. So. Anyways, thanks so much for coming, and I'll see you again next week. Stay safe.